Hey, what's up guys? Today I'm doing a review on the Promex 3.0 boxing gloves. So stay tuned. Hey, what's up guys? Carlo here and today I'm doing a review on the Promex 3.0 boxing gloves. I got mine in the blue colorway in 16 ounces in the lace-up closure. You can also get this in Velcro closure anywhere between 14 and 18 ounces. And the colorways they offer are going to be the blue you see here, white, red, black, yellow, and I believe silver if I'm not mistaken. Now this is the third version of the Promex gloves from Tidal Boxing and by far the best. So um, the previous versions, the 2.0s I did a review on a couple of years ago and the originals were solid gloves um, and to me Promex is kind of Tidal's version of a Mexican style glove or a uh, Cleto Reyes style of glove although the previous versions I really didn't feel were very similar to the Reyes gloves other than the way the actual label looked on the glove itself. Um, but this 3.0 I definitely feel is the best version for several reasons which we'll go into in depth here in a second. Now design wise when you're looking at this it's a very simple looking glove. It has the same Promex logo they've used throughout the years on both the back of the glove as well as down on the wrist support. Um, it uses 100% cowhide leather construction and the glove is manufactured in Pakistan. Um, on the back of the glove it does say professional Promex. Mexico. I know to some that can be kind of misleading um, and one thing I want to make sure and clarify that these gloves are not made in Mexico. They're just a Mexican inspired glove. Um, the leather itself has a uh, satin finish to it. Really nice high quality. Very similar to the same leather that you see in other Tidal gloves that are made in Pakistan. Um, has a really nice soft supple feel. Uh, the actual foam they use in here is a composition between memory foam and latex foam and it's multi-layered. I'd say that it's more on the medium to firm density side uh, which makes for a really good sparring glove and to use for bag work as well and offers a really good level of protection. Um, coming to the palm side of the glove you have nice really long white laces. The inner part of the thumb is contrasting with the white you also have a leather attached thumb at the top. Um, it has a grip bar that's fairly large in size that says professional uh, right there and ventilated holes on the thumb. Uh, coming down you have a black piping around the bottom of the cuff, double stitching throughout, um, about an inch of uh, thick density padding on the wrist or should I say the back of the wrist. And it's definitely on the firm side, but you also have this nice soft tricot liner that's very nice and su uh, smooth and silky that goes up against your, your actual, uh, the back of your wrist. Uh, it shows that it's made in Pakistan right there. And you also have about half an inch of padding on the inside of the wrist that goes up to right where the thumb seam is at, as well as on this side where you can see the double stitching ends it, ends it off. So again, Promex logo, um, it is a triple cuff uh, style of wrist support right here. So this is a more of a flat cuff and then you have the stitching that is uh, kind of stitching down and actually should I say quadruple cuff. I didn't, I said triple cuff and that was my mistake. So you have four sections right here um, that segments the back of the wrist support and you also have the Promex patch that is stitched on uh, which is what they've been using for years now and it says Promex. The same thing as up here Promex Mexico. Um, and nothing too crazy there. One thing I would like to see is maybe for them to revise the look of this patch. To me, it looks pretty outdated. Uh, I feel that maybe it's time for them to do some updating in terms of the look of the actual logo and the glove. Uh, but outside of that, that's pretty much it when you look at this from an aesthetic standpoint. I'd say that this is more on a medium uh, to compact uh, side as far as the profile of the glove. Not overly big in terms of height or width, uh, which I really like. One thing you also notice with this glove compared to the 2.0 is that it has more of a streamline and slimmer look. It doesn't have that wide kind of flat look that the 2.0s had. So I really love the fact that they refined this glove to the version that you see here. Quality is pretty good. I'd say the biggest opportunity with this glove is going to be just a couple of minor stitching issues that I found. 
Um, you can see how they stitched on the patch on the back of the wrist support. That could have been done a little bit better. A little sloppy stitching right there. Um, overall, the edges looks pretty clean. The finger compartment, the leather is bonded nicely to the foam. Um, you can see the, the leather on the palm side is done nicely. The symmetry of the stitching is really, really good. You can see it gets kind of close right here. And so that could have been a little bit more even. Uh, and you can see the gap between this side and this side is a little bit on the thinner side. But again, we're just being nitpicky with it. Um, again, some of the stitching is a little sloppy. You can see they kind of went over uh, that seam right there with the stitching. Uh, the holes are punched out, which is nice. The attached thumb where the thumb meets the index finger looks really good as well. And the weight on these gloves are pretty much on point. Now I have my lace and loops on here because I've been using them. And both gloves are almost exactly at 16 ounces, which is great to see uh, for this glove. The other great thing is the glove is very well balanced. So the distribution of weight is not too top heavy or bottom heavy. And between the foam and the hand compartment, as well as the wrist support foam, it's really nice uh, as far as the uh, balance of the glove. So it's not a top heavy glove. It doesn't feel like it's very saggy towards the front, uh, which is really good. So on point with weight and on balance, was, which is two great things to see with a training glove. Comfort wise, sliding your hand in here, the first thing you'll notice is the liner is extremely comfortable. It's that smooth, uh, kind of silky tri liner. So my hand goes in really nice and smooth. There's no bunching up of material in the finger compartment uh, or the back of the hand. So that's really nice. Um, the thumb is nice and parallel. So one thing is the depth of the thumb is perfect. And when you make a fist, the tip of the thumb doesn't jam down, which is another great addition to that as well. So you have a good amount of room in the thumb compartment. So if you do have larger hands, you can stick with the 16 ounce gloves or you can also go up to the 18 ounce gloves as well which will afford you a little bit more room uh, but the thumb position as well as the depth of the thumb is really good the seam isn't too tight it will take a little bit of breaking in but overall that feels good as well uh, the depth of the hand compartment is excellent so you can make an excellent fist with this and there's also a piece of neoprene padding at the very edge of the fingertips uh, and over time what basically what that does is it's almost like a memory foam um, the more and more you use these gloves, you sweat in them, you train with them, you're, you're you know, obviously uh, throwing your punches and you're landing on the bag, your mitts, sparring. Eventually, the inside of this glove will basically take on the shape of your, your hand and basically form to your particular shape. So that's a really nice thing that they put that piece of neoprene there. So it's almost like an added grip bar in addition to this grip bar so that when you push down on it, you can really get that nice customized feel. Um, so overall the comfort on is great and the width is perfect. One thing I feel like they improved over the, the 2.0s is that it doesn't have that kind of flat wide feel to the hand compartment. It has a li little bit more of a snug, um, not too tight, but a snug more custom feel compared to um, the 2.0s which you, I really like as well. You can see that I can open and close my hands with relative ease. There's a little bit of a break-in period but not much um, and you can open and close your hands with no issues so it is not a stiff uh, feeling glove and the wrist support feels good as well. The amount of padding they put on both sides and on the back of the wrist is perfect uh, and it's rigid enough that it keeps its structure and it feels true on your hand. So overall uh, a, a very comfortable glove and I really don't have any complaints when it comes uh, to the comfort. Uh, protection and performance to me that this is again another balanced gloves and I'm starting to see a lot more gloves that uh, are doing um, I guess a better job with integrating foams that are both uh, good for absorbing shock but as well as giving you feedback as the user so if, if the person wearing the gloves it feels really good and when you're landing your shots with these and um, you get a really nice pop and bang with these gloves it feels really nice in that regard good protection you feel like you land on your two front knuckles with these um, and overall I mean they, they perform excellent I have no complaints in terms of performance with these gloves cost wise these gloves are $99 um, and just like anything else with title boxing um, you know I feel like they bring a tremendous amount of value to what you pay for when it comes to um, their boxing gloves and I feel like in the last couple of years they've really stepped it up and improved not only their selection of boxing equipment, but the variety of it. You know what I'm saying? Like you're, you're really getting a good variety of equipment um, and improvement. So the fact that you can see that they made some noticeable improvements with the third version 
of these compared to the 2.0s is telling me that um, they're cognizant of what their customers want. You know, they, they, they understand that their customers want, customers want a certain kind of feel in a boxing glove, a certain kind of look, a certain kind of feedback uh, and protection. So I feel like they really checked off all the boxes with this latest iteration of the 3.0s. And to be honest with you, there's not really much more they can really improve with this glove outside of, you know, maybe custom colors or, or better, better quality leather, which will obviously probably make the price grow, go up. But comfort wise, it, feel, it feels really great. Um, it would be cool if they made maybe like a, a puncher's version of this glove, like a, a horsehair, uh, Promex horsehair version of this glove if they, uh, for a training glove, not for a fight glove where, where com they combine latex and horsehair to give you a little bit more of a puncher style glove, which would be kind of cool, but just an idea for them. But overall, for $99, and if you get that 20% off, you can get these for 80 bucks plus shipping. Um, I think these gloves are well worth it. So if you guys have any questions or comments, make sure you guys leave them down below in the comments box. I'll put the link in the description box where you can find these Promex 3.0 boxing gloves. I'll see you guys later. Take care.